Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to introduce you to our free Facebook Ads course that will teach you how to create your first Facebook ad step by step. If you're a dropshipper or an e-commerce entrepreneur, this course is essential. Facebook marketing is an industry standard for online advertising. That's because of its ability to put your ad directly in front of your customers. However, that doesn't mean that Facebook marketing is easy. After running Facebook ads myself, helping beginner dropshippers launch their first campaigns, and talking with dropshipping experts, I'm here to teach you exactly how to do it. This course will be split up into three parts. Each course will have its own homework at the end so that you can test what you've learned. By the end of this first video, you'll know how Facebook ads are used to drive traffic and sales, how to install your Facebook pixel, and what campaigns are and exactly which ones to use. The second part of the course will teach you the basics of audience building. By the end of it, you'll know what countries to target for your first audience, how big your audience should be, and how to use Facebook audience insights to find the best audiences for your ad. The third part of the course will cover your Facebook ad budget and will also cover building the ad itself. By the end of the third part of the course, you'll know the best placements for your Facebook ad, how to budget for your ad, and a winning ad copy template. Now, make sure you hit subscribe so that you don't miss the next video in this course series. You'll also want to subscribe so that you can see our other tutorials, dropshipper interviews, and product recommendations here on YouTube. We publish new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, let's jump in to the first part of our course. Now, Facebook marketing can be used with almost any business, but in this course, I'm going to focus on the best strategies for creating a Facebook ad for a dropshipping store. Dropshipping is one of the easiest ways to start an online business. Instead of buying tons of inventory for your online store, you only order products when you get sales. Your supplier ships your orders for you, so you can sell all over the world. One of the biggest challenges for e-commerce businesses is driving traffic. Without a physical space for your business, not many customers are going to pass your store or come to you all on their own. Facebook ads allow you to come to your customer instead. Facebook ads are the current industry standard for advertising in dropshipping and e-commerce. One reason it's so popular is because it's so powerful. Facebook and the companies it owns have more than two billion active users per month. So even if you don't use Facebook, two billion people a month do, and that's a lot of potential customers. In addition, Facebook lets you show your ad to a target audience. Instead of advertising a dog collar to the whole city, you can show it only to people who have recently adopted a dog. If you're a dropshipper, you're most likely just starting out your business. You may not have a social media following or enough SEO for organic traffic just yet. Facebook ads let you go directly to your potential customers and drive them to your store. In this course, I'm going to be creating an ad step-by-step -step, for a dog water bottle that I'm selling in my pet niche dropshipping store. You can follow along and create an ad alongside me for your own product using the information that you'll learn. To do so, you'll need to make sure you have a Shopify store, a product to sell, and a Facebook page. Although Facebook ads have made advertising easy, they can still be a challenge to get the hang of in the beginning. But don't fret, being successful with Facebook ads is a learned skill. No one is born a Facebook ads expert. It takes patience, practice, and a persistent attitude to get really good at Facebook ads. If you're willing to take the time to do this course and keep learning, you'll be a Facebook ads expert in no time. Speaking of persistence, I want to make it clear that running a Facebook ad may not result in immediate sales. Professional dropshippers know they have to be willing to test multiple ads to find the ones that work. Testing is at the core of Facebook advertising, as there's no right way to run a successful ad. To keep things simple and easy to follow for this course, I'll only be creating one Facebook ad for my product. Once you know how to create one, you can practice and start testing more Facebook ads for your own store. Now, before you start running Facebook ads, you need to install the Facebook Pixel in your Shopify store. The Facebook Pixel reports every time someone visits your website and takes an action. This way, you'll know exactly how many people see your ad, click on it, and whether they make a purchase or not. Also, as more traffic visits your store, the Pixel will start to learn about the people who are more likely to buy, and it will show your ads to people who fit those categories. Think of the Pixel as your analytics sidekick. We're going to jump over to my screen now, so if you want to follow along at home, open up a new tab or browser, and let's get started. To create a Pixel, first log into Facebook. Then in the left-hand corner, click See More, and then click Ads Manager. Now you're in Facebook Business Manager. To create a Pixel, click this hamburger icon in the upper left corner, and under the Measure and Report section, under Events Manager, click Pixels. 
Now you're gonna to want to create a pixel. So click the Create Pixel button down here. For pixel name, it's a good idea to just use your business name. My business name is The Thirsty Pup, so I'll go ahead and put that here. You can always change the name later too. Go ahead and click Create. Now, Shopify has an integration to make installing your Facebook Pixel easier. So go ahead and click this first option, Connect a Partner Platform. Then select Shopify. In a new tab, open your Shopify account. Just follow the directions on screen to install your Pixel. We'll do this together now. First, it tells me to open my Shopify account. I've done this over here, and you can see I'm in the dashboard of my store, The Thirsty Pup. I'll go back to Facebook and click Continue. Now Facebook tells me to go to my online store and select Preferences. What I want to do once I'm there is copy and paste my Pixel ID right here into the field given, and then I'll click Save. I want to do all of this in Shopify. So I'll go to Shopify here, click Online Store, click Preferences, and scroll until I see Facebook Pixel. Perfect. Here's where I'll go ahead and paste the Pixel ID that I just copied, and now I'll press Save. Now back in Facebook, I'll press Continue as I've completed those steps. And now I need to verify that my pixel is working correctly. Facebook tells me that to verify my pixel is working correctly, I just need to send test traffic to my website. And this might take several minutes. I'll go ahead and write my web address, which is http colon slash slash the thirsty pup dot my Shopify dot com. And I'll send test traffic that way. I'm going to switch back to the Facebook pixel and see how it's loading and it says active. That means that my pixel is working correctly, so I can click continue. Now my setup is complete. I can go ahead and create an ad. So for now, I'll just press close. Please note that if you've recently added a Facebook pixel to your online store, you need to wait for some customer activity before you'll see any data in the Facebook ads manager. Once you have your Facebook pixel set up, we can start creating our first ad. But don't panic, I'm going to go through everything from start to finish. The Facebook Business Manager dashboard can be extremely intimidating, but jumping in and getting started is the best way to learn. The more familiar you are with where everything is, the easier it will be to create and navigate ads. Okay, let's start making our first ad. Click the menu at the top left and then click on Ads Manager. This is your dashboard where you can track the performance of your campaigns and see a breakdown of your activity and your disabled ads. For now, click on the green Create button to create your first Facebook ad. Now, in the Facebook ads creation process, you can always see what step you're looking at by looking at the left-hand column. The first step is selecting a campaign objective. A campaign objective tells Facebook what you want your ad to do. If you're an influencer trying to grow your brand, you might choose video views. If you're running ads for a business, the ultimate objective is conversions because conversions mean sales. These objectives will determine the best algorithm and audiences for Facebook to find for you. As a dropshipper, your ultimate goal is to make sales, so conversions is the best objective to choose. Go ahead and click conversions. Now you can choose a name for your campaign. If you're running multiple campaigns at once, this makes it easier to distinguish them. I'll name my campaign Conversions Thirsty Pup Water Bottle. Below, you can choose to create an A-B test for your ad. This means you can change one thing about the ad and run both the changed ad and the original ad at the same time. For example, we could run the exact same ad for our dog water bottle, but use two different images. This way, we would change one variable and we can test which ad is more effective and know exactly why. This is a common and effective strategy when running Facebook ads. However, I would suggest it only after you know how to run your first Facebook ad. That way, it'll reduce confusion. So for now, I'll leave both of these options turned off and I'll just click continue. On the next page, you can continue to refine your objective in the conversion section. Now, if you click here, you'll see lots of different conversion objectives. They range from view content to search, add to cart, add to wishlist, initiate checkout, and so on, all the way to purchase. Now, you might think that because you're just starting out and your campaign goal is conversions, that you should choose purchase as your objective. But that's actually not the case. That's because your pixel is cold right now. It hasn't run and it has no idea who might like your ad. You need to give your pixel a chance to warm up so it can learn what kind of people engage with your advertisement and are most likely to become customers. While you're warming up, all you want is for customers to take that first step. That's why for your conversion event here, you're going to scroll up and select view content. Running an ad for the view content objective first will warm up your pixel and give it the information it needs to target for add to cart and purchase later on. 
If you've been following along with me, you should have your Facebook pixel installed and the ads campaign objectives set to view content. Now it's homework time. Here's how this will work. I'm going to ask you three questions to see whether you've understood the key points of today's video. Then you can join me for a live question and answer about Facebook ads on Tuesday, April 23rd at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. During our live Q&A, we'll talk about the answers and I'll also address your questions. If you're watching this later, just click the link in the description below for a link to that live Q&A. Ready for the questions? Number one, what's the first step in creating a Facebook ad? Is it A, creating the ad set, B, creating the ad itself, or C, creating the campaign objective. Question number two, what is the best objective for dropshippers and why? This is a one word answer. Question number three, what conversion event should you use for your first Facebook ad? Is it A, add to cart, B, view content, or C, initiate purchase. I'm sure you're excited to continue building your Facebook ad, but you'll have to watch the second part of our course to do so. Don't worry about losing your progress on this ad. Facebook will automatically save the progress you've made so far, and the next time you log into the Ads Manager, it will prompt you to continue working on this ad. All you've got to do is make sure you watch the second video in our Facebook Ads course. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching, and until next time, Learn often, market better, and sell more.